Which room is hogging the most square footage in your home? And how can you reclaim that wasted space? Allison Victoria, the host of HGTV's Windy City Rehab, knows how to get the most function out of a property. In fact, she's made a career of it. So whether you're remodeling your home, planning on flipping an old property, or building your own house, she can help you out. Victoria knows how to renovate or build residential properties in ways that are both practical and beautiful. And given how much goes into designing a home today, especially with more and more people working remotely, chances are good you'll need her advice. Recent studies show an increasing number of employees are dialing into work from home for at least three days per week. This makes the layout and design of an in-home workspace crucial to productivity and comfort. Homeowners today are looking at getting the most function out of their property rather than having a lot of pointlessly decorative rooms. Victoria's suggestions can help a homeowner decide on what fits their needs while helping them avoid needless design pitfalls and expenditures. According to Victoria, a formal dining room is falling out of favor with many homeowners, who consider it nothing short of a massive waste of space. How's the soup? Excuse me? The soup. When it comes to designing a functional space in a home, the necessity for a dining room depends on the needs of the people who live in it. If you're exceptionally social, you may benefit from a formal dining space, but others may not. Some homeowners may prefer to use that extra square footage in an updated kitchen, a home office, a gym, or simply for just additional living area. Victoria echoed that sentiment on one episode of Windy City Rehab, when she was working with a couple who had recently learned they were expecting a baby. Since they were going to be a family of only three, she advised against including a formal dining area in their floor plan. Instead, she recommended the young couple consider incorporating their planned dining area into their kitchen, adding an eating component with bench seating. Nobody's using a formal dining room these days, especially not a young couple like this. By taking a more creative approach to the space, Victoria was able to provide the option of hosting larger dinner parties, while still allowing the family to enjoy quiet meals together. And she has a point. Formal dining rooms aren't used nearly as much as they used to be. For most households, it's wasted space. Instead, you can use the room for something that better reflects your personal style. If you enjoy entertaining but are more casually social, you may want to consider creating a home bar. Why a home bar specifically? Well, it keeps all the integral values of a dining room, offering a gathering space for guests to socialize and have conversations while reflecting your own interests and lifestyle. The idea is to recapture the use of space by creating an area more tailored to your individual needs and that you will use more often than a traditional formal dining room. Starting with the kind of bar you want and how you'll set it up, there are many design options to choose from. From an area dedicated to wine tasting with a massive, built-in wine rack and plenty of comfortable seating, you may decide to go with more specific use of the space, like an actual in-home brewery where you can brew your own draft beer, or perhaps even a barista-style bar offering a variety of coffee and teas. A home bar can also provide plenty of ways to exercise your creative freedom and artistic flair without breaking the bank. Of course, depending on whether you decide on a budget-friendly, do-it-yourself project, featuring a homemade bar with funky artistic design elements, or a full-on nightclub experience, construction costs can vary widely. There are almost endless options for transforming your unused formal dining room. For example, for those working from home who may benefit from a dedicated workspace, you can incorporate a desk and bookshelves into renovation plans, creating a central office area with all the comforts of home. If you have young children, consider bringing their toys or even a playhouse into the former dining room to create a spacious playroom, perfect for rainy days or at-home playdates. Retired folks or hobbyists might decide to take the plunge and dedicate a former dining room into a space set aside to pursue their passion. Whether it's art, music, yoga, or just a cozy nook for writing, or catching up on an unfinished novel. Other options for transforming an unused dining room could include creating storage space for closet overflow, or maybe add a stationary bike and exercise equipment to furnish a home gym. You could even install blackout curtains, comfortable seating, and a projector to create a new home theater. But ultimately, no matter how you decide to transform your dining room, it should come down to what you think will provide you with the best use of the space.